Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. We are the Houstons from Houston's Homeschool Glimpses and we have a freebie for you. If you like this freebie, we have more to share in the future. Please subscribe to our channel. What else should they do? They should ring the bell and give us a thumbs up. Enjoy! Hey guys, so today I want to share a resource that I've been using in our homeschool that like many other resources, I didn't know it was that good until I was talking to my friend and she made me feel like it was worth sharing and she wanted a copy of it. So let me show you. So I made up this resource that has helped us to stay on track with our daily reading. This first page is just a binder cover that the kids get to decorate and color the way they please. So at the top, it will be blank for you to include your kid's name. So the first page is this monthly log that you will need to print every month. Um, and then it has a number log and then it has a date um, column and um, the book title column. So um, this gives you uh, a snapshot of all your reading for the month. So if your child is young and maybe only reading a chapter in a chapter book, then it will just repeat um, the same book title and it will just show chapter one, chapter two, chapter three, and so on and so forth. My kids really love the stars uh, because they get a reward whenever they reach that number. So it's exciting for them to have something to look forward to as they uh, become better and better readers. I give them a little reward. So um, on the next page here, um, this section includes two pages and it's just a summary of their reading to improve their comprehension. So I ask them a few questions to help guide them. So they get to write the name of the book and then they have to include how much um, of the book they read, whether they read um, a chapter or they read the entire book or just a few pages, depending on what was going on that day. But at least they have to write down something. They have to do a little reading every day. And then they get to say who are the main characters in the book they're reading and the relationships between the characters whether they're husband and wife or brother and sister. And then they write down the setting, which could be a lake, an island, a boat, kitchen, wherever it is. And then any challenges that the characters faced. So um, on the next page, they get to uh, write down how they resolved, how the characters resolved their challenges and what their favorite part of the book was. And then on the bottom, they get to write down all the new vocabulary words and we look them up in the dictionary um, to understand the meaning. So that's pretty much a summary. It's just the two pages that the kids get to do. So I'm using this book also for my four-year-old to hold myself accountable and make sure that I am reading to him every day. So for him, I'm only completing this first page I just list down the book that we read and the date and my goal is to read to him 30 books a, uh, a month because or 31 however many days um, the month has now sometimes we read more than one book in one sitting because his books are smaller um, so in that case we just uh, document like a couple and then I might let him draw a picture on this page about the favorite book we read. Or if we just read one book, he draws a picture on that page. So if we read about pirates, he might just draw um, a picture of a ship or of a pirate. And so that's pretty much it, guys. Say hi. Hi. What are we going to do? I'm going to read my A book. Okay, and here is my A book. Okay, there. Okay, little A had a box. Okay, over here. 
Lid, oh wait, he said, I will fill my box. Little A went put on his hat and went, went for a walk. walk. Next page. He found apples. Apples, apples. Apples, apples. He put the apples into his box. His box. Very good. Little a found an alligator. Okay. He put the alligator in the box. Into his box. Okay. Put the page. Okay. Little a found. What's that? What is she? No, no, no. Look. What are those? Ants. Yes, found ants. Ants, ants. ants. He put them in. You go, ants. Oops. He said. Ants. Next page. Then a little, little a found arrows. Arrows, arrows. Did he? Put the arrows into his box? Yes. He did. Okay, next page. Little A found an. What's this? Hammer. An axe. axe. An axe. axe. He and put he the axe into in his box. Alright, next page. Now. The box was so full. The ants, the arrows, and the axe fell out. The apples and the alligator fell out. Who will help me fill my box? said Little. A. Little A. An astronaut, astronaut came by. I will help you, said the astronaut. We will fill mm. your box. Okay. The then the astronaut took Little A for a ride. Up, up, and away. They've got ants, they've got the alligator, they've got the arrows, the astronaut, and apples. Oops, the axe fell out down there. Oops, too many pages. There we are. These are more words with A. What is this, Trishy? It's called, reindeer. It's called an antelope. Antelope. It does look like a reindeer. And what is the who's this? And a person. An acrobat. Acrobat. Mm -hmm. And what are these? What are these called? A deer. Antlers. Yes, Antlers. they're on a deer. Mm -hmm. What is this? An anchor. An anchor. What is this? Uh, I know. Don't tell me. I'm not telling you. Uh, I know, I know, I know. Okay. Yeah. Don't tell me. What is it used for? For a person that get hurt. Yes, when people get hurt. What is it? Ambulance. Ambulance. Very good. And what are these? Are they cats people? And, no. Okay, what do cats we call Cats and dogs. Right. And well, what do we call them? They're not animals. Animals. Good job, Joshi. Little A has another sound in some words. He says his name. Listen for little A as Oh, listen for little A's A. name. Acorn, apron. Mm. Here A is saying A, not A, A. right? Yeah. The end. The end. Good job. That I hope you guys liked it. And if you use it, please send us a message and let us know how it's helping you in your homeschool. And don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video.